if you suffer from chronic pain, you know it can often leave you feeling powerless and depressed. But prescription painkillers are not always the best solution. In today's lesson, I'll share my top techniques for easing chronic pain without medication and putting you back in control. Also, make sure to stay until the end for a free gift I have created just for you. Hi, my name is Biggie Fraley. I'm the arthritis coach. Welcome to this week's show. Welcome also if you're watching this later on a replay and welcome podcast listeners. In order to not miss a show like this, please make sure you like our official Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash the arthritis coach. If you haven't yet, I would love to have you over there. And um, let's go on with the show. So you certainly know that chronic pain isn't an easy condition to handle, but you can take control. Simple changes in your lifestyle, diet, and exercise um, can help ease your pain and make a big difference. That's why I'd like to share seven techniques with you today that will help you experience the relief you're seeking. Technique number one is to manage stress. Yes, it is true that stress can actually increase chronic pain and it'll definitely make it harder to manage as well. So what can we do to manage stress? Well, two of my favorite ways are yoga and meditation, but you can really try a variety of strategies to relax or reduce stress and see what works for you. Now, I'm curious, are any of you currently doing um, yoga or meditation on a weekly, if not daily basis? If so, let me know in the comments. I would love to know. Another even simpler technique are breathing exercises. By simply focusing on our breathing, you can just relax your muscles, which will reduce the pain, right? You know, if you have chronic pain in your neck or whatever, the muscles get very tight. They're hard as a rock sometimes, which makes the pain much worse. So deep breathing can help with that, as well as reduce blood pressure, again, help you eliminate some of the stress we all experience, whether be it in our daily life or that chronic pain is causing us. And deep breathing can even decrease the heart rate. Another technique to use to cope with pain is to actually find some fun distractions. You see, instead of concentrating on the pain, if you distract yourself with some hobbies or activities, you may forget all about your pain, if, if only temporarily, but it is really a great coping mechanism. You may want to watch uh, one of your favorite movies, ideally something funny, because as they say, laughter is the best medicine. Um, or read a book you can really get engrossed in. Um, maybe you're a fan of romance. Uh, I, I kind of have that habit occasionally to escape into a nice romance novel. All right, next is very important that if you're not already drinking enough water to increase your water intake because dehydration also can make chronic pain worse. So if you take prescription medication, then ample hydration becomes even more important because your body needs to be able to, you know, um, move the medication as well as the toxins and side effects through the body and dispose of it again. 
Um, so you want to shoot for a minimum of eight, eight ounce glasses of water a day. Next, it's important to avoid inflammatory food. So those are the fast food, the processed foods, as well as um, foods that contain high amounts of salt and sugar, because they all can increase the inflammation in your body, which in turn will increase your chronic pain. On the other hand, then you want to add anti-inflammatory foods. So those are foods like nuts, leafy greens, fatty fish, berries, and other foods that help fight inflammation and reduce pain due to their high levels of antioxidants, which fight damage on the cellular level. And we'll actually dive a little deeper on that in next week's show, where we're the, sorry, where I will be covering superfoods. So definitely come back for that. Um, another technique, which is actually very powerful, and I really encourage you to do if you haven't yet, that is look for support groups that focus on chronic pain, right? These groups can give you a chance to meet others that suffer from chronic pain, you will uh, be able to receive advice and tips for managing chronic pain, uh, get reviews and recommendations for doctors and clinics. And just by talking uh, about your experiences with others, you may also learn additional techniques to cope with your pain. Also, um, Chronic pain is often linked with anxiety and depression. And the social aspect of a group really helps cope with these side effects as well. And last uh, but not least, if online support groups, for example, offer privacy and anonymity, so you can feel more comfortable sharing your experience. And that is why I'm really a big proponent of group support. And my primary coaching model is that of group coaching. Because, you know, I there's nothing I could do in this world to, pro to, to possibly rival the group support and the group wisdom. So it's something I strongly believe in and... Now, maybe uh, in the future, you'll join me in one of my coaching programs or, you know, just go online right now and find a support group for your type of chronic pain. So even if you take medication for your pain, the techniques I've shared with you today will definitely help you further reduce your pain. Also, uh, you know, keep following your doctor's advice, but reduce stress and inflammation and find support. And I promise you will find the pain relief you've been seeking. And uh, to help you accomplish that even better, as mentioned in the beginning, I've created a free gift for you, which you can find at thearthritiscoach.com forward slash ease pain that's e-a-s-e-p-a-i-n arthritiscoach.com forward slash ease pain and i've included excuse me got a lovely train going by i don't want you to miss this important part that's why I'm going to pause for a moment. All right. So uh, in the free gift I have for you today, I have included all seven techniques I discussed with you today, as well as three additional techniques. But the uh, it's a PDF download. It also includes a printable sheet with a wonderful uh, reflection exercise that focuses or, or actually guides you through step-by-step step a breathing 
uh, a deep breathing exercise, which you can apply either on a daily basis or when you have, you know, a, a flare up of your pain that will be very powerful. So I really encourage you to pick up the PDF, uh, which you can find at thearthritiscoach.com forward slash ease pain. Also, if uh, I haven't, you haven't heard me share that before, I'm planning on holding monthly live masterclasses similar to this one. It will just be a deep dive into a topic with the next one coming up being digestion. I still haven't set the date, I apologize, but in order to not miss it, I've set up a notification list just for this purpose, and you can sign up at thearthritiscoach.com forward slash masterclass, and I will give you ample notice uh, when the class is happening, because you definitely want to attend live. So number one, you could ask me any questions, and number two, because after the live broadcast, the masterclass will go back into the vault and will not be available for free. So I encourage you to sign up at thearthritiscoach.com forward slash masterclass. Also, again, if you enjoyed today's show and found it helpful, please do share it on your timeline so some of your friends can benefit from it as well. Um, I would almost think most people are suffering from one type of chronic pain or another these days, whether it be, you know, joint pain, back pain, neck pain, migraines, uh, you, you name it, right? So I'm sure they can benefit. Do me a favor, share this video if you found it helpful. And once more, please like our official um, Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash the arthritis coach to keep up to date and not miss a live show. Uh, as mentioned before, this show is a weekly show. It happens every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Pacific on facebook.com forward slash the arthritis coach. I would love to see you there. I welcome your input, feedback, questions, uh, also, any topic ideas, you know, whatever you'd like to know, do engage. Um, and other than that, I'm looking forward to seeing you next week when we cover superfoods. And I hope you'll have a wonderful Tuesday and rest of the week. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.